Hello, what I foos? This is Cooking with James. In today's episode, we will be making everybody's favorite pottage, which I eat every single day, and I love it. Now, to make pottage, first, you will have to do your overnight prep. You'll have to defrost your chicken thighs. This is four to five pounds of chicken thighs, and you will have to soak your beans, all right? This is a six quart cast iron Dutch oven that I got from Amazon. It was like 40 bucks, which is expensive, but I use it every single day of my life. So it is worth it. So we have our beans here. This is about, oh, two pounds of beans with a couple of tablespoons of salt and uh, half a cup of vinegar that makes the beans less flatulent in your belly. So that's what we're gonna get started with today. Those are the two main constituent components. We're already like 60% of the way there. All right, so to make our chicken, we're going to turn the oven on to 375, and we're going to put our chicken in, and we're just gonna let that cook until it's like golden brown. So we're just gonna let the chicken cook. It's gonna take maybe an hour and a half to two hours, and that will allow us to get our vegetable component all nice and ready. I'm also gonna add an ear of corn in with the chicken because I didn't get the chance to make breakfast today and I am hungry. Now, to our beans, we will add one onion diced. In addition to onions, we will add four stalks of celery sliced. Finally, two or three carrots, depending on their size. A note on the carrots, I also use them for making breakfast. Since the carrots cook with the pottage much longer, I try to use the bigger, uh, older, tougher, less sweet carrots uh, that I happen to get from the grocery store. So here we have all of our nice vegetables going into our bean pot. Cover and let cook for two hours. Okay, James, my chicken is in the oven. My beans and my other vegetables are on the stove. What do I do? The answer is do anything you want. Have your corn. Have a pear. Have something else for breakfast. I'm really hungry. I designed this recipe to be as cheap and easy and hands-free as possible so I could spend more time creating great content for all of you. Mm. Okay, it's been roughly two hours. Our chicken looks like this. And our beans and our onions and our carrots look like that. They look delicious. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take our tongs and we are going to put the chicken in with all of the beans. Oh, yes. Oh, my. Oh, heavenly. So we got some nice browning on the chicken. Get those flavor compounds and our aromatic lee, uh, celery and carrots and onions are all uh, releasing their goodness under the high heat. Oh, and then also, once we add our chicken, we can turn our heat down to about like low, you know, medium low, just kind of like a bare simmer. We don't want our pot to boil over and lose any of that poultry goodness. And of course, the juice from the chicken. This is also the type of recipe that lends itself well to adding just whatever you want. So I have some uh, chopped green beans that we're gonna add right on top here. 
Why add the green? Why not add the green beans with all the other beans and the carrots and celery and the onions and all of that, James? Well, different ingredients cook at different rates. Uh, the onions, carrots, and celery are very tough and fibrous, so they take a while to break down. The green beans, especially if they've been previously frozen, are more fragile and don't need as long and also get really, really mushy if you cook them for too long. It is also at this point that I like to add some salt to the chicken, and that bears a little bit of discussion. So, salt, regular old table salt, and sugar are the two secrets of the restaurant industry. If you've ever made something, and you didn't add salt and it tasted kind of bad, it's probably because it needed a little bit of this. After making the pottage for so long, I know how much salt to add, uh, but the best advice is just salt to taste. Uh, you'll know add little bit by little bit until it tastes perfect. You can always add more, but you can't take it out. So after adding our salt, we need to make sure everything is down in the liquids. We have added all the ingredients. We're going to let this get covered and cook for another 30 minutes, and then we're going to remove the bones. All right, roughly two hours later, our pottage looks like this. And now it is time to remove the bones. Now this is why I choose uh, chicken thighs for this, in addition to being delicious. Uh, they also only have the one bone. I have chopsticks and a spoon, and it's going through and uh, keeping that keeping that good cartilage in there and removing the bones. Um, if I were to use uh, chicken breasts, I think they would dry out more easily, and also that comes with ribs attached. And this way, I know if there are 10 chicken thighs going in, I remove 10 chicken femurs. And then I don't bite into anything besides toothsome mush. Three, and this is number four. Uh, you can rush this. So the last 30 minutes that the pottage is cooking, you can uh, you can rush it a little bit. It's just that it makes this step a little bit harder. So let, since we let it cook down, uh, let the chicken meat get all nice and separated, get the flavor from the bones. Uh, the bones are also uh, easy to remove. So that's kind of the way that you know that it's time you know, that it, the chicken is ready to relinquish the bone. Um, when, you've gotten, when you've gotten all of the good flavor from it, and of course, uh, keeping that cartilage in there. Because cartilage, uh, the dissolved cartilage is part of what's gonna make your, your broth nice and gelatinous, and uh, that's important for storage. This is... Number eight, so we have two more. Number nine, and number 10. And then we're going to uh, stir to incorporate all of the ingredients. Uh, one thing about the lentils is that uh, they, have a, they have a slight tendency to burn at the bottom of the pot. That's okay, uh, they'll get a nice good soak and it just gives more of the flavors. I know, maybe I'm biased because I eat this every single day, but I do enjoy it. And after uh, multiple years of cooking the same exact thing every single week, I think I've gotten rather good at it. Okay, let's give this a taste. Get some of that juice. No more salt required. Well, let's have some of these beans. And they're done when they're nice and mushy. So those are just perfect. Now, this next part gets into my personal food strategy. Basically, we've been cooking everything at high heat in a metal container for a number of hours. So everything is sterilized and that's great for storing it in the refrigerator. But before we do our final sterilization, I'm going to take some uh, for my bowl, for my lunch and dinner today. So here, I have my ladle out, and I'm going to add it into my bowl uh, because I want to let it have a final uh, pasteurization. Uh, you know, putting, even though I wash all of my implements, having, um, putting stuff in the pottage is potentially adding germies, 
and we want all the germies to die so that I can have all of my food and they get none of it. Okay, so that looks about good. Didn't have breakfast today. And let's uh, even this out, make it nice and straight. And just let that cook. Well, not cook, let that sterilize for another 10 minutes and then we can put it on the counter. All right, 10 minutes later, everything's nice and clean. Uh, we can leave it on the counter to cool off. And once it is no longer hot, but merely warm to the touch, we can put it into the refrigerator and I can enjoy it all week long. So that's it, that's my pottage cooking video. I hope that it was informative. I hope that it was helpful. Uh, usually I make Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links content, but if you would like to see more of James's weird lifestyle, uh, I, can, I can know how to make other things. We can make other cooking videos. We can go fishing. Uh, we can go running. We can uh, learn how to tie the man bun. And if you enjoy that, let me know in the comments section below. Like, share, uh, maybe watch it twice. Time for lunch.